Welcome back to my channel where it is crunch time. <gasps> Trying to get these splits on beam to 150 degrees. I'm narrowing it down between a sasone, a split jump, and a leap. But I think our sasone is the winner based on what everybody said on TikTok. Straight leg over there. Front kicks, back kicks, switch leaps, switch leaps. So this is the kind of stuff that sends you over the edge. Someone buys it, a million people pass it, but then I end up being the one to put it away. Same thing, there's a light out in the bathroom. Now I gotta go change a light bulb. I've never changed a light bulb like that in my life. I really hope my husband is watching this because I don't have time to do my stuff like this at my house. And here I am doing it at the gym. Okay, ask them how many more they have left and then warm up a dance through. Dance through. I hope your whole routine looks like that. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. I remember what I wanted to do today. We gotta start over. I need you to do a 200% oh. routine dance through. So extra. So extra. We're dying on the floor laughing. Are you ready to go again? Okay, do you understand the assignment? Like so obnoxious, you like I've almost break yourself. without touching the bar, that's crazy. 
I of course have been avoiding low bar, so I did do some kips and some casting on the low bar just to make sure I could still do it. I was a little worried my high bar would look like trash and it kind of started out that way, but as we got going, it got a little higher and I think I got some of it back. Then off to vault where I like to do this drill because it helps me with getting off that second hand a little faster. I did try some half halves just as my backup just in case and some half fulls but those were a disaster. I spent a little while on souks as well so those were a little sketchy too but it is what it is. Whoa. Nora, at what point am I gonna wake up and feel like myself again? I have a sinus headache again. I just feel so miserable. And I can't get into the doctor until March 7th. The ENT specialist or whatever they're called. <laughs> that was a quick little transition. I left a little late, so I'm in a little bit of a hurry, but this is how it rolls sometimes. I've been pretty early for all the meets, except for this one because of that headache. I just like didn't want to get out of bed. I'm gonna finish up my makeup in the car. Don't do that. We got an hour and 30 minutes ahead of us, so let's roll. Ava, how'd you do? Oh, I sucked. You did not suck. Why do you have to say it like that? <laughs> that we gotta like stop fun. basing whether it sucked or not on it's scores scary. because every meet is different. Every score is gonna be different. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you for showing your Laffy Taffy. We recommend you. Mm -hmm. That's this what you good. guys got in your goodie bag or you brought that with you? No, this no, is I what we got. This. Look at how bougie. We got a something. That is pretty bougie. Right. It's, it's, it's a lanyard. I'll oh, take really? it then. You can have it. I don't want it. Oh my god. I don't think I've ever been put in the f on the first floor. And of course there's people and kids being so loud. So I don't want to be a Karen, but at the same time, like, I'm here for my job. I have to work tomorrow for 10 hours. Got some covers, just a cheeseburger, and some cheese curds. Yum, I guess. I'm too self-conscious to go to the gym. Gym, gym. I'm gonna do a workout in my room right now. This would be way more of a moment than it is. Anyways, so that was the end of the vlog. I ended up not filming anymore after my last session. I've had a week to process it. Kitty, I don't know why you're rubbing up on me. I have my group that's a little behind this season. They're still a very impressive group. Their first season on team, COVID hit. It was their level two season, so you're developing those basics and understanding what it means to compete. So they lost part of their season. Then we come back and we weren't quite sure if we would be competing at all. So they did XL Silver in the next year, but they struggled with getting their level three skills. So like their runoff by Can Springs. We worked really hard this summer and a good chunk of them are level fours now. But we had to get two kips, we had to get two back answering to even have the concept of these skills that quickly is amazing. On the reverse side is sometimes their brains don't always catch up as fast as far as detail to form and a little bit of that confidence and drive to compete. 
So we don't always do the best at the meets, which is not the biggest goal that they should be having anyways. Where I get frustrated as a coaching standpoint is when we have the skill, we do it confidently at practice, and then we fall apart at the meet. Cause it's kind of like, well, why are we going then? Again, part of that is gonna come with age. It's gonna come with experience. On the flip side of that, coaches have to deal with, we were behind 45 minutes this session. So you have the meet director up your wazoo telling you, okay, push through, push through, push through. And then you have the judges who are like, they weren't even flipping up start values. They weren't even flipping up start values for XL Gold. They were like, boom, score, next person, go. So like, I'm trying to hustle through so I don't piss anybody off. I've been on that side of things, the meet director side, but when they're under pressure, the judges are under pressure, the coaches are under pressure, then you put the gymnasts under more pressure than they already are. So it was a little bit of a hula hala hot mess. Some of them handled it well and some of them fell apart. At the end of the meet, I got a shout out. The first thing it says is a smile. I can't even tell you what was after it. It was something like, we thank you for supporting us or something. I don't know, it was from the girls. I sobbed my the whole way home, an hour and a half, sobbing about this shout out. I couldn't really pinpoint why it made me feel so terrible until like after that hour and a half and came home. Why are you licking your butt? right now while I'm trying to tell this serious story, you're ruining the moment. There's so many aspects to the sport that it's like, and so many, when you're coaching so many different groups and you have to do things at practice so many different ways and you're trying to meet so many different needs, it makes you feel like a crazy person. People don't see that other side of, it's part of my job, but it doesn't have to be part of my job. We're not that gym, we'll never be that gym where it's like, no, you're following this rule A, B, and C. I also don't have to make like all these modifications trying to figure out like, hey, I know you wanna stay in your group with your friends, so I'm gonna figure out a way to do that because I know your old teammates mean a lot to you. We're gonna figure out a way around it. That might be doing Excel because you're just not ready and maybe we come back to it later. Like, I will do that. Like, so I think to get that smile, thank you for all you do something, it just felt backhanded. Hey, you're okay, but you're not quite doing enough. Like. You need to do more. You better smile while you're doing it. <sighs> I'm well aware that a lot of this is my anxiety talking. I feel so guilty every day that I do some type of workout because I think to myself, well, I could be doing something to make the gym better, to help the girls out, to do whatever I can. I run myself into the ground every single season. That's me. That's my internal dialogue saying, how dare you be so selfish to want to work out and do gymnastics or like take up time doing the social media thing like making these gymnastics jokes on tiktok or sharing your gymnastics journey every time i post something like well you could be using that time better when i'm already working 50 60 depending on the week 70 hours a week i think this season especially has opened up my eyes that I need to take my needs just a little bit more seriously. You know, that's kind of what I've dedicated my life to, I guess. Like, I can't have my own children at this point. So I'm gonna strive and live to help other people. But, like I've learned as a counselor, you can't help other people if you're drowning. Cheers to 2022, where we make uh, things just a little bit more about ourselves and we're not gonna feel bad for it, no matter what people say. Go us. If you see me at a meet, I'm not some monster. I just have a resting witch face. So I've had it my whole life. I've had people comment on it my whole life. It ain't going away anytime soon. But that sums up the weekend. And I'll see you in my next video.